A cemetery is a sacred place where family members can honor their loved ones and pass on the legacies of generations past. Despite finding a long lost graveyard in Harrison County, the work to preserve the gravesite at the Landon Cemetery continues years after its discovery. WLOX was there in 2016 when Miriam Clayton and her mother Sandra Walker, with the help of many others, found the burial site of their ancestors off of Landon Road. Now the search continues, but in a different way. Finding Adam Monroe's death certificate. Oh. With countless hours of research, Clayton and her mother say they verified more than 30 members of the old Harrison County community side camp buried in the graveyard. The people who are buried there are my family members. I did not get an opportunity to meet any of them, but I care for them just as much as I would for those family members that I have met. They were instrumental in building the foundation of the city of Gulfport. The cemetery is deep in the woods and there's no clear path to get there. It's a difficult walk to say the least, but it's worth it once you get in there to see the old headstones and the vines and all the old bushes, camellias that people planted a hundred years ago. So all of that love and care that people put into the cemetery many years back, you can still see a little glimpse of that when you get in there. We know that these people are there because the headstones match the, the death certificates. Not all of the graves are marked with headstones. Clayton believes there's many more buried there in unmarked graves, but piecing together the names with the bodies isn't easy since the cemetery is on private property. The only protection that's out there is that the property owner cannot prohibit a family member from visiting. Clayton says the property owner does allow her and her family to visit the grave site and he helped with the search to find it in 2016. But if the property were to be sold, it would mean uncertainty. She's reaching out to state lawmakers to provide protections for abandoned cemeteries while also looking out for the property owners with a similar law that's on the books in Alabama. There are things that we can write into a new law that will protect the property owner at the same time allowing visitors, family members, archaeologists, whomever, who like to go into those burial sites to go in at reasonable times and come out without doing any damage to any other property. Potential legislative action could pave the way for the upkeep and protection of cemeteries like Landon. I'm trying to preserve their memory and I think that their graves should be preserved as well so that people can go and see, oh, there's Miss Sylphie, there's Miss Ada, people that these people have heard about all their lives in side camp. And they did exist and their bodies do exist and there are beautiful headstones out there. So I think it should be preserved. Now the family is meeting with community leaders tomorrow about taking steps to protect the cemetery. If you'd like to help or have any ideas, we have the contact information on WLOX.com.